Welcome back to part two of my four-part adventure series. In the first episode, I rode from Vancouver to Nelson and Ainsworth. In today's episode, I spend some time in Ainsworth Hot Springs before riding into the eye of a storm south to Creston to explore a winery. Ainsworth Hot Springs Resort is on the traditional land of the Tanaha First Nation. The Tanaha have been using the mineral pools for thousands and thousands of years for their healing properties. Since 2015, they have owned Ainsworth Hot Springs Resort. Lots of riders come here for good reason. It really is just a, a wonderful place to unwind. No matter what you're into, Ainsworth Hot Springs is one of those places that you want to spend a few days to relax. There's so much natural beauty there and just a really calm pace of life. And it's a great place to just chill out for a few days. timing. I think the storm came in full force while I was on my bike waiting to load the ferry. So my gear is pretty wet. But I'm in a nice little cafe here and I'm just waiting for everything to dry. This is strong. Severe thunderstorm launch. times. The sun has just come out after a couple of hours of pretty intense thunderstorms. We had lightning, thunder, and full-on downpour. You would never imagine because it's absolutely gorgeous out now. Um, I am on the 3A highway heading south towards Creston. And it is absolutely amazing riding here. 
It's one of my favorite highways to ride. It's just a biker's paradise here. You've got twisties that go lakeside uh, for about 50 kilometers. Just a really perfect stretch. Low traffic, um, just barely any cars, but you do see a fair amount of bikers because anyone who's ever ridden this road knows what an amazing highway it is to ride. I'm really excited for the next little stretch and I'm really looking forward to getting on the bike again. Preston is in a fertile valley where there's lots of farmland and it's really obvious that the people who live here have a real strong connection with their land. It's a great place to check out farmers markets and try local farm to table cuisine. there are also a few wineries in the region. One of which is Gimmerhorn Winery, and it's a beautiful place. I just can't get enough of it. Just here, look at this place. I absolutely love it. The food is awesome too. They use fresh local ingredients and their wine is divine. It's small batch. It's a pretty small winery so they don't have huge quantities and you can't buy the wine in Vancouver so I get excited when I'm here. I'm definitely going to be bringing a few bottles back with me. So I was able to go camping after all. The storm subsided. The rain um, came only in small amounts. Site. I'm at a little campsite um, close to Creston. It's kind of like an RV park, but it's great. They sell firewood and um, it's right near a river. 
So tomorrow I'm going to go for a walk and check it out. Apparently there's like a hundred foot drop right behind my motorcycle. So hopefully uh, I don't do any sleepwalking tonight and stumble off that cliff. But I'm really happy to be here and uh, just glad it all worked out and glad that the storm subsided. This concludes part two out of my four-part Kootenays adventure series. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and click that little bell so you can tune in to my next few adventures. In my next episode, I ride from Creston over to Caslow and I get stuck in some pretty crazy hailstorm. And I also check out some beautiful vintage cafe racers in Caslow. Thanks for coming along for the ride and we'll see you next time.